Uh, so there's a few absolute major fails. I just did that. The, ooh, oh. and welcome back to my channel. I'm Katie and welcome if you're new and if you're a returning subscriber we love you over here. If you haven't subscribed and joined the family yet then there should be a button in one of these corners which you should click now. So anyway today I've got a Gymshark haul for you and I'm going to be trying on the new Gymshark bikinis so whether or not we think we should do gym exercises in bikinis or not who knows. I've got some of the ombre sets to try on and some brand new, oh, what are they called? The sleek sculpt range. Um, I've got lots of various colours, sizes, everything to show you. And also one major horrendous fail by Gymshark. Um, actually two horrendous fails. So yeah, keep an eye out for those. Um, other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, hit the like button and make sure, like I said, you subscribe to the family. Just before we start as well, I'm a UK 10 to 12. Um, I'm 5 foot 10 and my breath is a 34C, um, roughly. So, okay, so first of all, I'm going to talk about the sports bra that I'm wearing right now. I'm kind of a fan. The shape I'm definitely a fan of. I absolutely love it. The ruched detail, it fits lovely. The material is gorgeous. I really, really, really like this one. I'll show you the back as well. And this one is £26, which I think for a sports bra that you could wear as a sports crop top is amazing, ideal. It's very supportive. It came in a medium. Um, I've had a medium before and a few other ones and they were a little big. This one, however, is lovely. The fit is great. I do think it's very flattering for someone who hasn't got a gigantic bust. Um, this is one of my favourite items of the whole haul. <laughs> but I do love all the other items, apart from, like I said earlier, a few little epic fails. So I'm going to start off with a black bikini. So this one, the bottoms were £20 and the top was £24. So these are the bottoms. And as you can see, they're, they're quite cute. Like they're quite, you wouldn't think they were from like a sportswear brand. They've got really, really like subtle Gymshark branding for Gymshark. Um, it's not in your face like Gymshark, how it quite often is. Um, what I say with these is, if you're slightly wider hipped on the bottom, they're not that flattering. I think they're gonna be more flattering for someone who's um, more straight figured. Um, however, if you've got a nice plump bum, they are nice and covering, like there's quite a lot of them. Um, this isn't one of the workout bikinis, but it is one of just their new range of bikinis. And I think I got the top, oh, so I got the bottoms in a medium. I'd say that well, well, this is the top and I love the top. Like I love the fact that it's got crisscross back. I actually really like this detail. I thought it could look a little bit chavvy, but it doesn't. It, the bikini itself is very like look how lovely and thick that strap is it's very good quality bikini like very very good quality but i guess when you think about the total price is 44 pounds for bikinis average um it's got little cups inside it's very flattering it's a little bit small i probably probably would go to a medium on the top next i'm going to show you one of the workout bikinis so I actually surprisingly like this. Like, I don't think I'd work out in it. Maybe if I lived in LA and I had a, I don't know, private beach. <laughs> Which will happen one day, I'm sure. Um, so this, to me, you could wear this as a sports bra. So this, you kind of get like two out of one here. Um, so this is the, I can't even hold it properly, sorry. Um, this is the workout top. And this one was 18 pounds and the bottoms were 14, so here are the bottoms. Again, there's quite a bit of them, but if you started doing squats in these, they're gonna go up your bum. I haven't just got a bum that eats everything. Um, I got these both in a medium as well. So I got this in a medium, this one fit me lovely. I would say if you're a 10 to 12, then definitely go for a medium, unless you've got a lot full of bust, then maybe go for a large on the top. Um, but I think for the price of this one, so that'll be a, 32 pound bikini. I think that's really good. Um, 
yeah if you do live abroad and want to work out in a bikini they have this in a few nice colors as well i just went for black because it's plain and simple and you know me i don't venture out into the colors too much the fit was nice it was very supportive and yeah that was that was pretty much a win so the next two items are brand new in the Gymshark range and they I bought them both in smalls. Okay, so these are very small, very tight. It's a lovely shaped bra, really, really nice shape. It was quite tight, it wasn't too tight that it made everything poke out of the gaps, which is nice, but I find the colour a little bit disappointing. Um, I don't know if you can see it properly there. I think it, when it's called the Marl on the end, it's like a dusky pink marl. Anytime there's marl on the end, I find it's like this um, like bitty pattern on the thing. I like, if you can have a colour, just have a colour. I don't like it to be like, look a bit washed out already. So, yeah, it's a bit more of like a raspberry colour. On the website, it looks quite pink. So I wasn't a massive fan of the colour. With the trousers, I got them out, and I generally was like, oh my god, how am I going to get these over my bum? Like, they're, they're, they're tiny. Look at them. They're like, someone who's a size six or age six could probably fit in these. They're so small. Obviously they stretch. So I did manage to get in them, which I'll show you now, the bottoms. And I wouldn't, obviously I wouldn't keep the small because they're too small. But if you're a size eight, these would probably fit you nicely. Um, I like the little mesh bits. I think they're quite pretty. Quite just nice to have like a little bit of detail rather than just a boring legging. Um, these are £38 and the crop top was £28. I think the crop top is worth it. Um, I think £38 for these because they're kind of still a bit boring. I feel like Gymshark have got some lovely new patterned items out, but they'd all sold out. So I couldn't get them. So I had to go for this. And you know, pink is my favourite colour. Yeah. Definitely size up if you normally buy a small on your attempt to roll. Okay, next I'm going to show you my epic fail. So this is a picture of what it looked like on the website and I'm not really into the ombre personally anyway, but I thought I'd give it a go. Supposedly they're the most flattering um, leggings that Gymshark do and what girl doesn't want to look her best, whether it be going to the gym or whether it be going wherever. You know, we all look, like to feel nice and look nice, so that's completely fine. Um, the colours, oh, it was a bit iffy about all the colours. It wasn't really, because like I said to you before, I'm not really a colour kind of girl apart from a little bit of pink now and then. Um, yeah, I just have nothing nice about these, really. I would say the leggings were very, very small. I know they're meant to be like suction and hold you in. But I did order them in a small, as I said, 10 to 12. Like that. I literally got them out of the packet and I was like, where's the rest of the legging? Look how small they are. I can fit them in the camera, that's how small they are. They're tiny. Like, tiny. They, they're obviously, they're super, super stretchy both ways. Um, they have got little like air pocket vents under the bum, which is nice if you don't want any bum sweat. <laughs> um, I hate, I absolutely hate this black, like, grey seam. That, up, for me, that ruins it completely. Why would you want that horrible seam in there? They've got a little bit of branding on the bottom ankle. Um, these are the peach pink charcoal colour, ombre seamless legging. Um, they, they sucked me in, but didn't really piss me on when we did anything amazing. Um, and what, like why Gymshark would you not just make that seem pink so it blended and looked really nice so yeah I think it's flattering on the bust other than that nah okay so I have two more things to show you so I'm going to show you a bikini which in theory when you see the picture would be great and right I'm going to show you and then I'm going to explain the top fit great made my boobs look nice we all like a bit of a good boob going on I like the back of the, the top very very nice very classy very elegant lovely 
help the boob situation out. Just great, absolutely great. So I got that in a medium. Um, was a bit iffy about getting it in a medium. Let me just double check, I did, I did. And it's called the Sunday's Bikini Top in Peach Pink. Um, I like the branding is subtle on there. Very subtle, like this, same colour. Um, I feel like Gymshark could up their colours a bit more, like find some nice colours. The quality of items is pretty good, but the colour is what always lets me personally down with them. I just think this is neither coral nor pink. It does look a lot more pink in there. Let me just... Right, that's more of the colour of what it is. Sorry, it needs to be a bit brighter. Um, so yeah, top, great, top, great, absolute win. Bottoms, right, this is called a Brazilian bottom, when they have like the roof detail on the bum, and it goes a little bit, you know, a little bit cheeky, a little more bum out. This was too big for my bum. One, I've never, ever, ever, in 27 years, yes, I just admitted how old though, ever had a problem with my bum being too small for a pair of bottoms. It was like sagging off my bum. I got them in a medium as well, which I even considered getting a large because I haven't got a massive bum, but it's pretty, it's pretty big. But uh, just gonna show you, like they're quite saggy looking. Like they just sort of sagged on my bum and that's what they made my bum look like. Which is a shame, but oh, that's not flattering, is it? Look at it. The front was quite flattering. Like you could wear it like ruched together or pulled out completely, depending on up to you. I always love a tie strap bikini because you can adjust them to a nice comfortable size. You don't have to worry about poking the end and pushing the fat out, or you know, you can wear them a little bit higher. If you've got like wide hips, I like to wear them on my hips. If you have not much hips, it's good to wear them a little bit higher. It makes your waist look a little bit smaller. But there we are. Okay, that one was relatively cheap as well. That was £15 for the top and £10 for the bottom. That's a very cheap, £25 per year, it's really, really reasonable. They also do it, I think, in a top, which, I love a top, I don't really know why I bought it in pink, I think I just fancied a change, I think it was like pink coral, and I was like, oh yeah, with a tan, that'll look good. Sometimes top can wash blondes or fair skinned people out, can just sort of blend in with the skin and look a bit naked. Like, actually, I actually have a bikini coming up in a haul on Sunday. That is exactly what I mean about that. So when you look a little bit naked, people are going to double take. Like, has she got anything on? Is she in the nude? I'll never be in the nude. So worry. <laughs> so I've actually partnered with a exciting new brand called Flory Days. And that's going to be a haul on Sunday. So make sure you do subscribe to my channel so you see the haul. You get the notification. Last items. Last set. Probably, probably my favourite gym wear probably my favorite yeah so this is another pair of a sleek sculpt leggings and luckily i bought these in a medium whenever i buy something in a light color i tend to go up a size i think i've said that many a time before if i buy something in white i normally just buy a little size bigger or just make sure you try it on before you buy it but obviously when you buy online just go like oh it's up size because it's just sometimes there's like that risk of it being a bit see-through if it's too tight and you get those like bra lines, knicker lines, fat rolls. I'm not saying you got fat rolls, but we've all got a little bit of extra skin here and there. That's what I'm saying. So, these I really like. These are £38 as well. These were very nice on the bottom. Very nice on the bottom. They've got this line here which goes in on your bum. So you know, just to clear it all in, keep it all up there, nice and tight. That's what we do the squats for. Um, nice, very subtle branding again, which I like. And I love the mesh detail, as I did on the others, but these fit so much better. These were like a perfect fit for me. So definitely size medium, size 10 to 12. And I tied it with this top. I still don't know how I feel about this top. I mean, I like it. This one was £26, so this is a sports bra, um, it's the Royal Panel Sports Bra and it's in a print and it's in a size small and it was quite tight but you want sports bras to be tight. So for me this kind of sports bra, when it's got the elasticated band, 
I think the, the small was fine. I'm not gonna lie, it does like a little bit like worn already, and I've never worn it. Um, so that's not great. No, there we are, you can see. Um, I really like the under layer. As you know, I'm not really a colour girl, but this on like a bit of tan, it was nice. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about the, the taupe, taupe over it, because I think taupe is a nice neutral colour and I'll keep it with like things like white. I said this one's nice, very sportive, um, I like the back, probably the best, but I'm not sure how I feel about that one. Let me know how you feel about that one in the comments. And that's it, that's the Gymshark haul done for you. Wish, bish, bash, bosh. I also have a previous Gymshark haul, which I will link down below, in case you fancy watching it, because most of the stuff is probably still online, as they keep their stock for quite a while, um, and stock comes back in and out of stock very regularly on there, so if you can't get something you want, just wait a little bit. Always keep a tab open, this is such a good trick. Keep a tab open, just refresh it, and then, before you know it, it'll be back up there. So, hope you enjoyed this video today. If you did, please leave me a comment below. Please let me know. Oh my lord, I've got to say, I made it to 500 subscribers. We, guys, you have helped me make it to 500 subscribers. Next milestone, 1,000. Oh, yeah. That really is so exciting, like you have no idea. When I started this channel, it was generally because a friend said to me, have you ever thought about doing YouTube, Kate? You'd be really good on there. That's literally how this started. That is how this started, and now I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna make YouTube my job. I'm gonna make YouTube my income. I'm so determined, you have no idea. This channel is gonna hold a lot of fun things. It's got a big, bright future. So, that's not enough reason to subscribe, which I, I never know which side it is. So anyway, hope you have a beautiful day. Hope you have a beautiful week. Thank you for being here. I love you all. Goodbye.